you've just posted the new issue of Ethics, uh, let me tell you about a couple of things in it. First of all, there are a couple of new books that I think you would find of interest. Dancing with Digital Natives, trying to think about how to relate to uh, younger people is a fascinating book. And uh, the biography of Albert Einstein is amazing. And I've reviewed those. Wrote a column on thinking about technology and interacting with a generation uh, what, who uh, think about things from a very technical point of view, like it's 722, instead of knowing approximately what time it was and how that affects our business. Technology is not the answer to all the questions that we thought. Our major interview is with Steve Turek. Uh, he's a fascinating individual. He's a person who uh, is working at, uh, at Marvin Windows, a lifetime uh, litigator, and he has an incredible insight on purpose. And he happens to be here on campus with us. So, Steve, um, why don't you say a little bit about purpose? I know that we have the interview with you, but how important is purpose in our business? Well, I, I, I think it's important in two respects. Well, I think the first one is that uh, it's important that a business has a purpose. And I think one of the things we're seeing in society is that the lack of evident purpose in some business is giving uh, all of business a bit of a bad rap. And secondly, I think it's important that individuals in business understand their own life's purpose and God's call in their life to, uh, to live that out way they go about their business. Yeah, and the company that, that Steve is from uh, really made the headlines in living out their purpose, and maybe just give us a brief comment. People can read the article to hear the whole story. Sure. I uh, We were uh, praised by the president uh, in a couple of his major campaign speeches as among uh, a number of companies and individuals that gave him hope. Uh, and that hope sprang from the decisions made by the owners and senior executives to not lay off any employees, but rather to uh, sacrifice compensation and benefits uh, for all in order to keep all working in our communities intact. And that was noted as being uh, exceptional. It was not the, the, the path more traveled by most of our industry. And uh, one of the things that like to tell people is that was very intentional. It wasn't that we couldn't make a decision or we felt stuck and didn't know what to do. In point of fact, uh, our core purpose that we have articulated, the reason we exist at all, is to create meaningful work for our people and to earn the respect of our stakeholders through responsible and ethical behavior. And so our decision to keep people working and keep small communities intact was in fact very purposeful. It yeah. was very intentional. Unless you think that's an easy task, the industry that he's in, Marvin Windows, makes windows, and it was the construction industry that was wiped out in the recession. So it was an amazing feat in that industry in particular, and uh, I know you'll enjoy reading the interview.